This is one question taken from class 10th, trigonometric identities. Well, the LHS uh, of this question is tan cube theta over one plus tan square theta plus cot cube theta over one plus cot square theta. And that is equal to, we have to prove as sec theta into cosec theta minus two times sine theta into cos theta. Well, for solving this, primarily we'll be using these three identities that one plus tan square theta is equal to sec square, one plus cot square is cosec square and sine square plus cos square is equal to one. Now, the first thing that we do in the LHS here is to convert this uh, tan, like we can write tan as sine by cos and cot as cos by sine. So first, if I write tan cube theta, it should be sine cube theta over cos cube theta. So I'm writing this as sine cube theta over cos cube theta. And I can write this uh, one plus tan square theta, you know, one plus tan square theta can be written as six square theta. Alternately, you can even convert them into sine cos, you'll get the same result. So I can write this as six square theta is a plus sign. Now further, this cot cube can be written, cot is cos over sine. So I can write this as cos cube theta. This is cos cube theta over sine cube theta. And then one plus cot square theta is what? Cosec square theta. So we can directly substitute it. And as I said, alternately, you can even convert this also in sine and cos. So I'm writing this as cosec square theta as the LHS. Now we can even write this uh, six square in terms of sine cos that is one over sine is one over cos. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm right, going to write this as one over cos square theta and this as one over sine square theta. So if I proceed in the next step, the numerator will be as it is, that is this is sine cube theta over cos cube theta. And this is one by cos square theta. Plus this is cos cube theta over sine cube theta. And this is cos cosec square, as I said, I can write this as one by sine square theta. Right. Once we are done till here, the next thing that we do is to reciprocate. Let's say what I'm going to say here. We can write this as sine cube theta over cos cube theta. As you know, dividing by this is same as multiplying with the reciprocal. So I can write this as cos square theta over one. Same on the other side, this is cos cube theta over sine cube theta. And dividing is same as multiplying with the reciprocal. So I'm multiplying with sine square theta by one. What I can see here that uh, this whole cos square will get canceled. You can see this cos square and the cube will get canceled as there is a cube times. And similarly here also. So what we get here after simplifying, let me write on properly. After reducing this, we got this. We got sine cube theta. Sine cube theta by cos theta. And the other side, it is cos cube theta by sine theta. This is what we got. Now we'll continue solving it. If I take LCM. If I take LCM here, as you can see, the LCM will be sine into cos. The LCM of this part will be sine into cos. So if I take LCM, which is sine theta into cos theta, in that case, what will happen? This sine will multiply it with this sine cube. So it will give you sine four theta. That is sine raised to the power four theta. And same on the other side, it will give you cos raised to the power four theta. Now, after that, we are going to apply an identity of 
a raised to the power 4 plus b raised to the power 4 that is a raised to the power 4 plus b raised to the power 4 you can either derive it in the exam or you can learn it this is equal to a square plus b square the whole square minus 2 a square b square now applying this identity over here we are going to apply this identity in this part what we'll get here we'll get a square that is sine square theta plus cos square theta whole square minus 2 sine square cos square 2 sine square theta dot cos square theta and that divided by sine theta into cos theta. With further simplification, we can see that we can replace this sine square plus cos square as 1. So this will give you 1 minus 2 times sine square theta into cos square theta and that divided by sine theta dot cos theta at the denominator. Now, what you can see here, that if I split them, that means we write individually, that is one over sine theta dot cos theta minus two sine square theta dot cos square theta over sine theta dot cos theta. So what I did here, I wrote one over this and the later I wrote this thing over this. That means dividing individually or splitting them. Now, we can see here that this thing get canceled here. That is sine cancel with square. And similarly, there is a cos square over here. So one cos will be left in the numerator. Now, what we know that is one over sine is cosec and one over cos is sec. So this is cosec into sec or you may write sec into cosec. It's all same. Sec theta dot cosec theta minus whatever is left here that is 2 sine theta dot cos theta. Right. As I can see this is what we need to prove as sec theta into cosec theta minus 2 sine theta dot cos theta.